here we are, early morning, Zaytuna. We're about to walk down the main crop. We've more or less emptied the tool shed here. And let's go. We're gonna have a job catching them up. Jackie's with us, of course, as she always is. 12 years old and going strong. Buckets for harvesting, are they? Indeed. Cedars. Broad fork on the way down. There's Possum. He's gonna join us. Buckets of food scraps going to chickens chicken and chicken worms, scraps, are they? Yeah. What are you holding? A jang cedar. A jang cedar. That's a pretty efficient little tool, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, someone here with an Earthship t-shirt on. Must be an American Texan, eh, Will? Yeah. You've got a few hand tools here. Look at this, very traditional. We've got a Tasmanian leading the charge. We're almost there. What you got here, Dave? Just loads uh, of hand tools? Just lots of hand tools to uh, help me flip the compost. All right. So that was it. That was the walk from the campsite and the education centre down to the main crop. So one of the first things we do is uh, let our chickens out. And uh, there's a little bit of feed going on there, but there's uh, a load of food scraps already hit the compost. A uh, little tiny bit of feed will encourage them to get up there and scratch it. And they've got a lot of food scraps as well. And this compost has already been spread out quite a lot. And up there in the house, there's a lot of mulch under the roost that they're gonna be manuring for a week before we include it in the compost. That one was turned yesterday. It's already been spread by the chickens. And here, this is the target pile. This is gonna get turned over today. What's been spread out will be put in the middle. Uh, that'd be the outside going to the inside. And the core of it is gonna go on the outside. That's our first job. And we've got two of these tractors. Let's take a little bit of a, a trip over there and I'll take you through a corn bed. Corn's coming up with cowpea on the outside. So the cowpea's gonna smother the footpath and control our rampant weed growth of summer. Summer's all about controlling rampancy. One of the ways we control rampancy is with rampant plants, cowpea being one of them. So we have three beds here and they're all covered in weeds that we've just cut because Underneath the weeds are some of the last of the winter's potatoes. But another way we control rampancy is with things like sweet potato. So sweet potato as a crop itself literally smothers the ground and slows down any weed growth. Another thing we do is we grow the alley crops of Lucina and underneath we've got the ground smothered with comfrey, which we cut as a fertilizer. This is our other chicken tractor on steroids. And now Sufi's arriving with a little cup full of seed. A little bit of seed on the top, a little bit of food scraps to come. Okay. There they go, they're keen. Over here we have alley crop that's still being installed. There's a few young ones to be put in, but the comfrey's just been cut. So the comfrey's been used as fertilizer. Corn here is early corn, nearly close to being harvested, very close. And I step across from comfrey. This bed has just been seeded with three rows of cowpea on the top. And we're gonna do a Gertrude Frank method where we're gonna plant our vegetables into our seeded cover crop. So we're gonna plant now in between the seeded rows of cover crop and we're gonna chop and drop the cover crop onto the crop. It's a really efficient way of controlling the rampancy and letting the plants do the work, especially when you've got so much rampant growth in the sort of tropical summer that we have and this year we've got a very tropical wet season start to the year it's normally dry at this time of year but right now we've had incredible rains so we've just chopped the weeds down on here because there's two beds of potatoes we love our potatoes but we can't grow them in the summer it gets too hot and humid we've got cucumbers here and we've got tomatoes growing in cages we tend to grow our tomatoes in cages because it's such a fast growing climate and they get propped inside a wire cage and that's easier for us than staking. And the system repeats here. We've got cowpea on the outside and we've got beetroot on the bed. Everything's surrounded by alley crop with comfrey understory. Here we have cowpea on the outside and cucumber on the inside on the trellis. Another bed just being planted to cowpea. Here we have another potato bed, all weeds. But when we dig through those weeds, we pull those weeds out, up come these beautiful crop of potatoes. Another bed that's just been seeded to cowpea compost and cowpea and we're going to plant in between them and then two bottom beds have just been broad forked so you can actually see they're not turned over but the broad forking just literally plies the ground so you can see the broad fork marks there in the ground they're just cracking the surface they're not turning it over they're just cracking the surface 
and then at the bottom we have a bed of alley crop again but we need to introduce more comfrey is one that's already been cut and that can go to feed chickens but it can also be used as a green fertilizer got a lot of growth on the sides but we've also got a lot of grapes so we've introduced grapes along the fence in the last 12 months and now they've really taken off we've got grapes coming all the way along here it's not a good grape climate but we can get a good isabella black isabella most of these are and they're very very nice jam grape we also have along the bottom of this bed melon circles we have a, a mulch and compost pit planted to melons around the outside so we've got a lot of feed in the middle of the pit the melons planted around the outside and that gives us a lot of growth with a lot of melons tightly packed so we're going to grow these melons away from the garden because the gardens they're just at the bottom of the garden here we don't want them climbing all the way through and smothering the garden i'm going to send them out across the paddock we find that works really well a mulch and compost compost and mulch in a pit planted all the way around the outside and cover cropped as well we can put cover crop with it and use it as a chop and drop we have another bed of corn and cowpea and then we have cowpea and eggplant and the same again and then we have zucchini and eggplant corn and cucumber and eggplant and then we have a bed of germinating carrot seed and this will be the last carrots we grow in the main crop this year the rest will go in the kitchen garden it's a little bit too rampant down here for carrots but we plant them and then we put a shade cloth over the top and wait for them to germinate and then we lift the shade cloth and weed otherwise it's a big problem weeding the fine carrots as they germinate another potato bed still got to cut the weeds off this one tomatoes again back to our sweet potato there we go early morning in the main crop 